Thanks for watching JapsCoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. And today we're going to give you some troubleshooting tips on our 135 SL. Yep. What's going to happen is Jeff's going to jump behind the camera and I'm going to turn this thing upside down, inside out, take it apart. And as I go through it, um, you can look and see what I'm talking about. And also I'll just point out things um, that we've seen in the past. So, what do you think? So, yeah. Sounds good, Mike. Let's get started. All right. All right, Jeff, check this out. Let's tear this light down. Right here is the left and right motor, and these wires are both negative and positive. We reverse the polarity to make the light go left or right. Here's the main wire harness. Here's your tension spring that keeps the motor assembly against this gear assembly in here. If we've accidentally forced the light left or right, and after that the light gets hung up in one position and you have to nudge it to kind of get it to go further that tells me that some of these teeth on this gear right here have been either damaged or worn out and you'd have to swap out the lower half of the unit on the underside you'll notice that there's four screw holes I've already removed the screws because they're long and you don't want to see me unscrewing stuff so by doing that it pops off this top housing assembly. Now in the back you'll see the up down motor and again same thing with the left right motor those wires are both negative and positive reversing the polarity that just makes the light go up or down and through the shield it's a kind of this is a, a, a water shield so that water doesn't get into the to the motors you'll see the bronze gear assembly right in there and that's what makes the light go up and down. It actually moves this entire housing right here. To power the light, there's two white uh, wires that come out of the, the light housing assembly. They can be either brown or orange. It doesn't matter, the light itself isn't polarity sensitive. To change out the light, you'll see four screws on the front bezel. Remove those screws, this plastic housing comes off and then you get access to the light. That's the 135 in a nutshell. Um, there's not too many things that can go wrong with it. It's a very simple light. So that was pretty neat, Mike. You know, you took us through the 135 search light, you know, the two motors that run it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but you know, it's, it's helpful to show, uh, show our view is basically what's inside of here you know just in case they want to tackle it themselves yeah that's the guts of the light um, sometimes when I'm working on things it's just nice to be able to uh, view it before I get into it um, hopefully that was helpful I'm Mike Irving and I'm Jeff Lander thanks a lot for watching this episode of Japsco Tech there's going to be more coming up so stay tuned